When I first visited these shores way back in 1967, I met a young country band from Liverpool. We did some radio broadcasts together and a couple of television shows and did a tour of Europe. We became real good buddies. They're now one of the most popular country bands in Britain, and frankly, I think they're the best. Make welcome the fabulous Hillsiders. <laughs> Be like something's happening I don't want to slow it down I've got no need for holding back You tore my road signs down And it's a love revival It's a sweet arrival It's a love revival It's a sweet arrival Hillsiders and I did a couple television series together a few years back from the Nashville Rooms and uh, Elizabethan Barnes. That's yeah. been a while ago. Things are going good for you, aren't they, Kevin? Yeah, they sure are. We've been touring up and down the country, doing concerts everywhere, places we haven't been before, and we're going to Scandinavia. Joe, I understand that British country music is really sort of coming into its own now. Is there a change in the scene here from when we used to work together when we started? Oh, yes. Yeah. Since we f when we first met ten years ago, most of our time with them was uh, spent playing American bases, you know. Uh-huh. And uh, now it's progressed. We're doing more concert work and theater work and television than we've ever done. It's great. Can I take advantage of this opportunity to do a song with the finest band in the land? Oh, God, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging from a string in my mama's kitchen Back in the hard time days was a little old stone about the size of an apple it was smooth and worn and gray there wasn't much food in my mama's kitchen so whenever things got tight mama'd boil up some water 
foot in the stone and say, let's have some soup tonight. And I swear you could taste the chicken and tomatoes, the noodles and the marrow bone. But it really was nothing but some water and potatoes and the wonderful, wonderful soup stone. It had been in the family for a whole lot of years, so we knew it was a nourishing thing. And I remember Mama, she stirred her in the water, and we could all hear her sing. It's a magical stone, and as long as we got it, we never have a hungry night. Just add a little love to the wonderful soup stone, and everything will be all right. And I swear you could taste the chicken and the pussies, the cabbage and the old ham bone. Yeah. It really wasn't nothing but some water and potatoes and the wonderful, wonderful soup stone. So it carried us all through the darkened days till finally the sunshine came. And the soup stone started into gathering dust, but it hung there just the same. Ever since then, Lord, the food's been plenty, but every now and then I find that Mama in the kitchen and the wonderful soup stone drifts across my mind. And I swear you could taste the chicken and tomatoes, the noodles and the marrow bone. But it really wasn't nothing but some water and potatoes and the wonderful, wonderful soup stone. I swear you could taste the chicken and tomatoes, the noodles and the marrow bones. But it really wasn't nothing but some water and potatoes and the wonderful, wonderful soup stone. We were nourished by your actual soup stone. I swear it's a magical soup stone. <laughs>